Hey, what's up everybody, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Michael. I'm a photographer, music video director, and editor. Sometimes I like to experiment with things I don't usually do. Things outside of my comfort zone, I guess you could say. I made a new photo animation, and I want to talk a bit about it today. Sometimes I feel like my work is stagnating, like I'm making the same thing over and over and over again. So I like to experiment and think outside the box, both as a way to come up with new ideas and to kind of like get myself out of the rut. This experiment came from a feeling of crippling uninspiredness, dampened almost entirely by the bleak winter weather here in Missoula. And seriously, the conditions for shooting outside has not been very good here in Montana lately. It leaves me feeling creatively bleh, if you know what I mean. And in long enough stretches, it actually leaves me grappling with some seasonal depression. I still wanted to create, I just didn't want to go shoot outside where the clouds were high in the sky and the sun was hiding for the 12th day in a row, making the whole world feel like flat and devoid of color. Whenever I feel this way, personally, it really helps me to take on an ambitious project or to work on something that's like totally outside of my creative wheelhouse. So that's what I did. I got together with my friends Zane and Kent to see if we could come up with an indoor solution to a mental creative block. A few texts later, we decided to completely rework this photo that I shot of Zane last summer. Newspaper. Fire. Yeah. There's something, there's something here. Finally, an idea that doesn't depend on external circumstances. During the pandemic, I really tried to zone in on a new form of creation for myself personally, which was photo animations. I'd take a photo or five and pretty much stitch them all together in 3D space to make the viewing experience stand out. In recent months, I kind of felt like I ran out of photo animation ideas. They were all following the same formula and they all kind of started to feel the same to me. So this newspaper shoot with Zane and Kent needed to fix all of that for me. I wanted to create something that felt more immersive, something that had way more camera movement. How about a newspaper room on fire? Perfect. From shooting to editing, I'm going to walk you through the entire process of how we went from these photos to this animation. But first, this video is brought to you by me. <laughs> uh, I make these videos here for fun. It's another creative outlet, but it's hard to dedicate any amount of time to this channel because I usually find myself pretty busy with my main video work. So if you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is to consider buying a photo print. I have several photo prints listed on my website, nature scenes from the American West like Montana, Wyoming, and California to some of the coolest places I've been in Norway and Italy and Iceland. All the prints come mounted on a two millimeter styrene backing and can be framed or hung from the back bracket as is. You can you can use the code just create at checkout and save ten dollars off your order. Now, uh, enough shameless plugging, let's get on with the video. First, we tiled newspaper across the wall, making sure to fill the entire field of view of the camera. This is the most time consuming part of the whole shoot, and even that only took a few minutes. Once the walls were covered, the last scene prep was to burn a few of the newspapers that I wanted to use as custom assets in the final edit. Oh, I should just use this one, like this one. Oh, yeah, good idea. Big brain. Five head. Then we dialed in the lighting to make the scene feel warm and dim as if lit by fire. We bounced a few LEDs off the walls for like a gentle ambient light, and then I used these small aperture lights to do a fire gag to give us kind of extra warmth across the scene and to give us more like inconsistent light levels. Now that the scene was ready, it's time to shoot. I grabbed a clean plate of the newspaper wall, then grabbed a few plate options of Zane reading the newspaper, having him hold his hands in varying positions. After that, we attached a little gaff tape tag to the back of the burned papers and held them in front of the camera to shoot our other burned assets. Now it's time to piece it all together. I used a combination of Lightroom, Photoshop, and After Effects to make this work. In Lightroom, I imported the images and made selections. The whole reason we're in Lightroom in the first place is to make small adjustments to color and light for each photo layer. This is something I could have done in Photoshop too, but I have a much faster color pipeline in Lightroom. Once the photos were exported, I brought them into Photoshop and cut out each layer, exporting them as a PNG to preserve transparency. And over to After Effects. First up, I used the clean plate to build a tunnel in 3D space. Then I animated the camera to move along a path that I thought would be interesting. Once the camera's path was defined, I placed Zane in the scene and started using the burned newspaper assets to make some holes and place is to hold fire. And from there, it was just a guess and check game of layering in the assets we shot and trying to make them feel as if they belonged. I made a few shadows for the floating newspaper and keyframed in some flickering light, then added some smoke for good measure. And actually had to run out and take a quick picture of Zane's legs to make it all come together. One sec, um, sorry for the interruption, future editing mic here. I just wanted to say really quick that the song you're about to hear 
is uh, by Zane. He's an incredibly talented artist. We shot a music video for one of his songs last year that just came out. So I'll link down to his stuff in the description below, as well as Kent, so you can check out his YouTube channel or some of his parkour stuff. Um, anyways, just had to plug the friends really quick. Um, and we'll get right back to the video. So after a lot of guess and check and over 75 layers, here's what we were left Riley, I take pride in picking targets and driving there. My main goal is getting part of the lion's share. Remain bold, envision market, providing care. With Zane blows, it's wicked cold in the highest air. I mean it, it's like the pressure is suffocating. Will I keep up? And I had a blast working on this, even though it didn't turn out the way I'd hoped. I learned a lot, and most importantly, this newspaper experiment led me to some ideas that I'm really eager to try on some bigger budget music video projects in the future. I also accomplished the main task, which was to immerse myself in a new creative project and escape the mundane feeling I was getting from the winter blues here. I lowered the stakes, and now I'm out of the rut. I learned something new, and I have a whole bunch of new ideas that I'm really stoked to implement moving forward. But. Before you go, my friend had a totally different experience with moving outside of his comfort zone. He found himself with an opportunity to create in a totally different way. So, here's Kent. So, my passions really intersect at the crossroads of cameras and parkour. I'm no stranger to capturing parkour both with video and photo, but this project was a gem that I hadn't truly planned. In the summer of 2019, I was shooting a parkour video in Vancouver with a bunch of close friends. We were spending the week exploring the city to make this happen. While the video was the focus of the trip, I decided I wanted to try to shoot a set of parkour images all on film. Parkour has this very raw feel to it that I thought film would capture in a really unique way. I didn't have any pressure to perform well because the focus was the video and anything else on top was just an extra bonus. The images I managed to grab in between video takes ended up being some of my favorite parkour photos I've taken. Not only did they capture the action, I was also able to get lots of behind the scenes moments of the experience of exploring and creating with my friends in a set of gritty, candid shots. I love all of these photos so much and they wouldn't have turned out the same if I was focused solely on the images or if I had taken the chance with shooting them on film. Hey, I'm Zane. I rap as Renault. Uh, I usually make fairly aggressive rap um, with wrapped hooks. Pass the torch. We don't really need to go back and forth. I'm on track, of course. All hands on deck that I stacked before. About to flip the switch on my reactor core. I need to stack some more. Um, but occasionally, um, I like to step outside of my comfort zone and pretend I can sing a little bit. Ray's not blocking away. First of all, I, I mix quite a bit of my own music, not all of it, uh, but quite a bit of it, um, and it helps me learn how to layer better. Um, and I also find that when I have to change stylistically what I'm doing, it makes me change content. So a lot of times if I'm having significant writer's block, um, I need to change the content that I'm writing about and just um, get my brain diverted. And that helps me open up my brain and get out of a funk, um, find new things to rap about and get back to feeling like myself. I don't want to be prescriptive with this video, but what I can speak on is my own experience. I managed to have fun, learn some new skills, develop some new ideas, and create something different, all because I took a little time to experiment with something that I would not normally do. So my main takeaway from this whole thing, keep experimenting. Experiment with concepts and projects, even if you don't think they'll turn out. I found inspiration from artists that I look up to and from digging through my past work and thinking like, how can I give this a facelift or how can I make this one step better? I'm curious, has creating something different and new to you had an impact on your creative process at all? And what steps do you take to think outside the box more? But that's about it. Thanks for watching. Peace. Better watch out, this will rain after long drought. Make way for the danger, the boss now. I'm all out when I'm all in, call in. Everyone you know need them to hear what I'm talking about. I come in peace, I approach with my palms out. Strong 